it seems there's a bit of a craze sweeping YouTube at the moment, and it is instant AC, instant freezers made from, well, bits and pieces you can find lying around if you want, and they look super impressive. I mean, they freeze brilliantly in a matter of microseconds, and people are asking, well, do these things really work? And of course, that's what we're going to have a look at. We're going to have a look at how they're built, and ask that question, do they work? Because they're impressive, because they use all of the essential components that you would find in a fridge or air conditioner unit. They include a thing like an evaporator coil, and a condenser coil, and they're made in different formats. You can find them as coils, or you can find them as serpents. And then they're joined together with a capillary tube, which of course you need to do in a fridge or AC. And the capillary tube is either a finer bore copper tube that's been wound into its own coil, or even weird and wonderful things like, I think it is a cranial vein cannulator to form that capillary tube. Then the other ends are attached to a very low power pump, something like a nine volt pump. It put a um, fan onto it so we can blow air across it, and it's either a propeller or a PC fan or something like that. And then the whole lot is filled with butane. And this is one of the things I really like because butane, apart from being a um, fuel, is a refrigerant that's used. So all of those essential components are put in there. Then a nine volt battery is attached and hey presto, the whole thing freezes over. Now I've used about half a dozen clips from about a dozen of these videos I've seen because I'm not targeting any particular individual. It's the idea that we're talking about. And they all use the same thing. They all have an evaporator, a condenser, a fan of some description, a pump of some description, fill it full of butane, and that's what people are making, and there's loads of them on how to make them. So I've just grabbed different bits to show you that they're all essentially the same. But of course, the question is, does it work? And the quite straightforward and simple answer is, not a chance. <laughs> that little pump is a pump. It's not a compressor, it doesn't have the power to be able to recompress that gas. And if you try it, you'll find that the pump just stops working. And that's beside everything about making those seals good so they don't leak butane gas everywhere. The amount of energy you're putting into that pump hasn't got a hope of ever compressing that gas. But it looks like it works. And a special shout out to Dear Tiger DIY for taking the trouble to show how this works. And it's a pretty simple trick. All you actually do is spray the thing with some butane until it's frozen, video it, and then reverse that video. Mute it down to zero, overlay a track going forward, and then we in our minds will put that together and we will create the illusion of it actually working. And of course, this is done in film all of the time. When film is shot, it can be years apart. When they put it together in a sequence, we create the sequence and we create the idea of what's happening on the film rather than what's really happening on the film. So it's a very simple trick that is in fact an optical illusion and a couple of them do things like put a cough in or a dog barking or, or sounds of children playing that is running forward as their video is running backward. And I want to give a special thank out, a shout out to Craig Kappel for mentioning this to me and asking me to make a video on it because I thought it was interesting and he thought you would think it was interesting too, and I agree. If anybody's got another idea they would like explored, by all means pop it in the comments. I do read the comments, I reply to the ones that I can in the time given, and then all the rest I read. So you have a um, thing that you'd like having a look at, by all means, do put it in the comments section and I'll be happy to have a look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.